this would be the night sky that Galileo would have looked out at. Observing from on top of the tower uh, how the uh, heavenly bodies moved. Change in history right here. Buongiorno tutti. Welcome back to Venice. As St. Marco's tire, Tower. And uh, I just found out today that uh, there's an elevator. <laughs> um, I kind of planned out like a couple hours of my day to walk up those stairs. Um, but you just walk in, there's an elevator, it takes you to the top. No big deal. So um, I got some time back and, you know, uh, less of a story to tell. But it's gorgeous up there. Um, it's not the most clear day today, so you can't really see very far. Um, but um, uh, because it's overcast, you can see things uh, a lot better, and I'm sure the pictures are, are better, which is awesome. Um, I'm in a very noisy square, a lot of construction going on. So this is St. Marco's Square, and St. Marco's Tower, and St. Marco's Basilica behind me. This neighborhood is all called San Marco, right, after St. Mark. and. No one's really sure why. <laughs> I mean, we know why, because St. Mark is buried in the Basilica. Uh, and uh, what we don't know why is why it's associated with Venice. Um, the people of Venice decided that St. Mark was going to be their patron saint. And um, uh, historians are up in the air as far as like what his association was with Venice, <laughs> exactly. Um, he did visit here once, but it's not like he spent a lot of time here. In fact, he spent most of the, the last years of his life in Alexandria, uh, North Egypt, and, um, you know, basically the center of the world back then. And when he died, I think it was like 868, um, the people of, of Venice decided that he should be buried here. <laughs> and so what's interesting, I, I, I talked several, like last month, uh, several days ago, last month sometime, about um, how they went and they stole Michelangelo's body. Um, you know, uh, Florence wanted Michelangelo to be buried there, so they went to Rome, stole his body, <laughs> and brought him back. Well, what's an even funner um, corpse-stealing story <laughs> is that the people of Venice decided that St. Mark, San, San Marco, needed to be buried here and he was their patron saint so they went to go find his body and of course it was a little uh, you know uh, a little bit further away than this Florence story um, they had to go across the Mediterranean and so they went down and of course uh, it's not like sneaking a body um, in a in a chariot or a wagon or something and just you know driving off right it's got to be noticed so uh, what they wound up doing, as legend has it, um, is uh, they wound up hiding his body under a bunch of pork because the uh, Muslim uh, guards who were um, uh, like the customs agents, uh, you know, it was an Islamic um, um, uh, a state back then, um, or the, you know, the Islamic state controlled Egypt back then, and um, and so what, they weren't going to look through the pork, right? It was non-halal and uh, forbidden to, to touch this. So, you know, again, according to the story, they would have like looked at, at the contents of, uh, of where the body was hidden, saw the pork, went, oh, okay, that's enough. And, you know, let St. Mark come here. And uh, yeah, just like those stolen, <laughs> stolen, um, horses they've also got a stolen saint so you know do with that information what you will <laughs> but it's a fun story historically speaking in present day it's a fun story it also makes you think that that might have been the first time that customs agents started to search people a little bit more um, thoroughly <laughs> so we can blame the venetians for why we have to take our shoes off at the airport is that a stretch Maybe. Buonasera, tutti, or buonasera a tutti. Um, I'm outside of one of the big 
cathedrals, the big uh, basilicas that I uh, managed to get a view of uh, um, from uh, St. Marco's Tower, uh, reminding me that I should be visiting a couple more of these places, um, especially outside of the touristy areas and stuff. And uh, this is the Basilica de Giovanni e Paolo. So not only one saint, but two saints. Um, and uh, uh, no George and Ringo, but um, Giovanni and Paolo. You gotta make that joke. Um, the rest of today was really great. Um, it was a working day, so um, all I really had time for after climbing the tower was going heading out to the market, as promised. Um, I bought some clams, um, some fresh shrimp, and uh, some uh, black ink squid. <laughs> Just a little bit. I have absolutely no idea how to cook it. I'm going to have to find that out tomorrow <laughs> on the internet um, and hope that it turns out. Um, but that's one of the most famous uh, dishes around here, at least in this season, um, is the, the black ink squid. And uh, normally you have that with pasta, and they joke because you, you get it just like, um, you know, um, uh, Kool-Aid or Freshy. Um, you get it all stained around your lips and your teeth and everything. Um, but yeah, it's pasta, uh, squid ink, um, and the squid and everything. So hopefully I make it okay. Um, the clams that I made today were fantastic. I, um, instead of cooking them in the shells uh, with the, the rest of the ingredients, I uh, followed a different recipe where you cook them first. Um, so I, I used some olive oil and some butter and some garlic and lemon and just cooked the, um, the clams. And then I took them all out of the shells. I put the clams to the side and then with the sauce and the remaining stuff, I. I then made my sauce with, uh, you know, veggies and um, tomatoes especially. I got these really, really nice tomatoes and uh, cooked that all up into a sauce um, and then put the clams back in um, when the pasta was ready and then put it all, all together. It was really, really good. Very tasty, very savory and stuff. Still not as good as that, like, ultimate uh, clam uh, dinner I made um, a little while ago, but it was pretty good, I have to say. So... Hmm. So, um, and relatively cheap too. Like when you buy it from the market, what did I spend today at the market? Like, well, I'll show you the picture of the big haul that I got. I think I spent like, I think maybe 30 euro, um, all together. And that includes like the, the clams, the, the, the squid and the shrimp, um, which if I wanted them to get fresh, I would, uh, I'd buy them, uh, each, um, you know, uh, the same day, but it is a bit of a hike getting out to the <laughs> Rialto market. Um, so hopefully uh, that doesn't ruin my recipe. Anyway, um, I am off right now to a ghost walk, um, which is really cool because it's about 8.30 right now, starts at 9, and uh, it's going to be this dark, and we're going to be walking down these uh, canals and uh, hearing about ghost stories and, you know, um, getting all spooked and then having to walk back through these dark alleyways um, and hopefully not get spooked out. Um, so that should be fun. Um, almost like uh, telling ghost stories in the woods. <laughs> so and it's a, it's, a, it's a fun activity. I think of all the places, right, like, you know, that there'd be, you know, hauntings and stuff. You'd expect some, some place that's 1,600 years old. You know, um, and maybe it's, you know, maybe it's the ghost of San Marco himself because, uh, you know, he didn't want to get moved. He, uh, weather in Alexandria was fine and he didn't like all that pork. So, <laughs> anyway, I hope everyone watching is doing awesome. Uh, thanks so much for watching the videos. Um, it's, uh, I'm kind of doing this uh, just for myself, but I'm, I'm really um, happy that uh, I've got such great feedback. Um, it's awesome. So, uh, uh, I, I hope you all take care of yourselves. I hope you're uh, creating your own adventures, um, or at least planning them. And, uh, as long, uh, hopefully I, uh, as long as I don't get uh, involved in any ghosts or anything like that, uh, I will see you tomorrow. A domani. Arrivederci. <laughs> and ciao.
Oh, and sorry, just to clarify, this is the Basilica. This is actually the entrance to the hospital, um, both named the same. Um, uh, Giovanni A. Paolo, um, but how fancy is that? What a classy hospital <laughs> entrance. <laughs> so very, very cool. Only in Venice. Oh, and if that last video made you a question, in Venice, do they have ambulances? Are they boats? Yeah, they are. They're boats. Everything in Venice is a boat. Fire truck, police car, uh, uh, ambulance, uh, garbage truck. They're all boats. They have sirens. They run the canals. People have to pull over for them. They have specially engineered uh, stretchers that come out and uh, cranes and the whole bit. It's fantastic. Only in Venice.